Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Subaya, and today I'll be speaking to you all about one of the greatest generals that India has ever produced in all of history, General Kadandara Subaya Timaya. He was born Kadandara Subaya Timaya on 31st March 1906 in the humble town of Madikeri in the Kodagu district of Karnataka. This man was a man filled with valor, was very humble, honorable, charismatic and straightforward. All qualities befitting a true and powerful general. He was the chief of army staff from 1957 to 1961 until the conflict with China in 1962. He was the only Indian to command an infantry brigade in battle during World War II. This is actually a very, very big thing. He was such a great man that during the Second World War, he was handpicked to lead the 268th Infantry Brigade as part of the British Commonwealth Occupation Force in Japan, a result of his excellent and outstanding battle experience and service as a brigadier and as the only Indian to command an entire battle regiment. Now, why is this such a great thing? This is because back then, the British did not give this authority to anybody from India. No Indians were given this uh, authority except General Timaya. So why would we call him diplomatic, honorable, humble, straightforward? All these values, why? He was appointed by the United Nations to take care and repatriate the uh, Korean and Japanese prisoners of war, something that he was very, very good at. He was very diplomatic. He had good relations with all of the authority and he knew what he had to do for the betterment of the people. So only with his charisma and his firm and impartial nature was he able to repatriate all of these prisoners of war. General Timaya was a very, very great man. After the retirement from army, he was appointed commander of the UN peacekeeping forces, the United Nations peacekeeping forces in Cyprus from 1964 to 1965. But he died in Cyprus during active duty in 18th December 1965 as part of the United Nations forces in Cyprus. General Timaya was very, very honest man, very, very honorable man, very, very straightforward man. He believed absolutely in anti-corruption. He hated corruption. He hated any form of corruption. That's why he believed that India must be built with anti-corruption embedded into its core. On the basis of the 31st of March being the day he was born, uh, I wrote a little poem for uh, on you know, describing him. So here it goes. Be it the deafening sounds of the tanks, the cries of comrades, the severely wounded. Be it the charging enemies, the scattering fragments, deadly and encompassing. Be it the sour stench rising from the corpses of friends and foes alike. Be it the beckoning by the nation, the call of the people, the situation's dire, be it the blunders of the government, the backstabbing of those, those who truly are cowardly, be it filthy corruption, the lies and deceit brought on by the traitors indeed. Never has he flinched, never has he been faced, not in the eyes of the public, not when facing incoming danger. With the will of obsidian, Values standing firm until oblivion. Characteristics truly befitting of a mighty general. General Timaya! Thank you.